Hey there, YouTube. Bad Fat Panda here, and I have another commentary for you guys. This time, yep, again, some Modern Warfare 2. Uh, I think I'll be using the AUG for some of it. Or, nope, still deciding. We will find out eventually, as I do not remember this match. But, I don't know, it's a game of domination. I think it's Ground War 2. Opportunity for some a fair amount of kills. And, uh, yeah, it looks like, I think, six of us. Or so in the lobby. Striker silence, because... Uh, I, don't, I honestly don't know why I have it silenced. I uh, I don't know. Hoping the fact that these spaz from Black Ops will... Uh... Of course, if you silence the spaz in Black Ops, the uh, silencer will not do anything to the range or damage. Which makes it uh, quite fun. So, using the P90 as well. Uh, this might have been before I got the Mini Uzi, which I have unlocked and which I have commentaries of. Coming up shortly, actually. I think I have like five episodes left of the, uh, the one prior to unlocking the Mini Uzi. But, I don't know. I raged Modern Warfare 2 for the first time I have in a long while. I was playing Search, which is... Uh, which can be a fun game type, or can be just completely uh, not fun in any way, shape, or form. If uh, they are noob tubing in Marathon Lightweight Commando and such. Because you only have one life to die by uh, some idiots. Favorite route in all of this game. So basically, just go in there, you get a double kill. You can guarantee at least two people. That and up here. Oh, if I was going to take the ladder up, you can also guarantee at least one kill. It's like a three, that, that little round trip is like a three kill uh, three kill in your pocket. Always nice to uh, to have. I really hope that the will bring back the... Uh, I just thought of this for some odd reason. I don't know. Some Oh, the... Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think. What did the, oh, the Magnum in uh, Left 4 Dead 2, which I have been playing, which is quite fun. The campaign is, uh, as long as you have people to play with, I I, uh, I think that's a pretty fun, pretty fun campaign. It is it is well worth my time in uh, shooting these zombies. Double kill for the win. And yeah, so that's pretty much the uh, the gist of the game. That's what's going on. This, it's just just constant, uh, constant battle over B. I really... The I think there was an interview with with some of the map makers that said like yeah well I mean what's when you have B you just like smoke grenade and riot shield and stuff that's why we put them in the game a hello chopper gunner apparently I'm on an 11 kill streak baller <laughs> see silent striker still does some damage some damage I think I have uh, I'm not sure whether I have lightweight or yeah I have lightweight on one shot headshot I was probably laughing about that. That's why my mic is on. But, uh, yeah. I don't know if I put up a video, uh, either for near July 4th, but it was another really, really good weekend, um, recently, so I've done some traveling in the, in the, uh, over the weekend, and one of the things that made me laugh was, uh, I, I thought I would share it with you just because the, I don't know if the, it will translate to the picture that we actually saw in our, in our, uh, I don't know, time out and about, but, we uh, we usually go up to this place uh, on the border between uh, Pennsylvania and New Jersey because it has like it's a really big place for uh, bikers and it's just the roads are really nice um, for the large majority of it and it gives some shaded trees and there are a bunch of bike shops all around and stuff so it's a cool uh, it's a cool weekend place to go to and the uh, the loop is like I don't know. I think it's like 42 or 44 miles, so it's a, it's a good uh, it's a good trip, and we usually try and do it every other Sunday or whenever we can. Um, so on this, of course, we were on the road, but there's also bike path. So we're all like five of us are going into um, <laughs> five of us are going into the town that we usually stop at um, and grab dinner, <laughs> and we saw this this guy coming off of the bike path, right? He was in shorts and a wife beater and had the, the wife beater is like the I don't, it's like a men's tank top I guess I don't know if men call it tank tops I mostly see women wearing them and it'd be kind of creepy for men to wear them but whatever so saw a guy in a wife beater and in his hand he was holding an acoustic guitar it had no sling he simply was was carrying an acoustic guitar in his hand on his back so he had it propped on his right shoulder and was just biking with his left hand on the wheels and he came off of the bike path, meaning that he had had to, like, trans traverse, su transverse, well, um, he had to traverse some area of the bike path with this guitar 
and it was just like the strangest thing ever you just see this random and he wasn't he wasn't like young uh like we were he was i don't know probably late 30s early 40s it was just the most random ass thing it's just guy holding an acoustic guitar on his back riding a bike like like nothing it was uh, it was pretty funny um so i hope you i hope some of that translated because it was really really funny but yeah that's that's pretty much my eventful story for the weekend um i had a lot of other stuff that happened to me but i don't know none of it is is really as as amusing as that i hope uh, i really do hope that it translated because that was funny as fuck so and fuck is pretty funny um what is going on in the game now <laughs> killing a sniper Everybody just, I feel that in Ground War, half the people on this map just like insta, insta pick their sniper classes and just go up there to the top, whether you spawn on either side and just sit there until somebody comes kill and kills you, oblivious to any sort of red dot on the map or anything like that. But, the Steam Summer Sale. It's been some good, uh, some good games. If you seriously haven't, uh, checked out Mass Effect as of... Yet, Mass Effect 2, such a good game. Of course, I wanted to put uh, Let's Plays up on my channel. Unfortunately, the developer of it, I forget who. It's not Bethesda, is it? No, I don't think so. I could look to the left of me, but that would uh, involve opening my door, and I have my air conditioning turned off so you can actually hear me through the mic. Because uh, otherwise you would get this random, I don't know. It's quite an annoying sound, but I've gotten used to it. As it is incredibly hot and uh, very humid, makes me sad. There we got a hacker without a uh, prestige symbol. I don't know. I find that hackers that are still like existent on, uh, speaking strictly from PSN, because I haven't had, I haven't played Modern Warfare 2 on the Xbox in, I don't know, long time. Since probably since uh, probably since November when I traded in. So, the hackers on on PS3 now are basically just. They have no prestige symbol, and if they do hack something, chances are it's just like random screen text on the text on the screen, screen text law. Oh uh, no, um, just random text all over the screen saying this mod was made by so and so, and uh, admire my big internet penis. But I don't know, I'm not into that whole thing. I don't really understand the necessity to do that. But if you, if it makes you work for it, just feel free to, to do whatever you want. It doesn't really impact the game whatsoever. And, uh, I don't know. There was apparently a time uh, right after the release of Black Ops that Modern Warfare 2 was completely unplayable due to, uh, like, glitching, hacking, stuff like that, that they never fixed. But uh, I think they've hot-fixed a couple things in here. Unfortunately, no uh, actual patches to come out for the game, despite the fact that it is a pretty good game. And I was actually... it was It's really funny reading the comments. Um, and I like to do it, but... <laughs> I, I was really surprised at the amount of people that, that still said uh, Modern Warfare 2 uh, is a better game than Black Ops. And it's funny because if you were to go to the comments uh, sections of, of videos on Machinima prior to the release of Black Ops, it was like, oh my god, Black Ops is going to be so awesome, I hate this game. Especially, my god, especially the uh, trailer that they did at uh, the NFL game. I forget what game it was. <laughs> the last season, whatever. Some, some NFL game. And, uh, I don't know, it was pretty, uh, it was pretty one-sided, like, Black Ops is going to be the uh, holy grail of video games. I, of course, was uh, involved in that, too. I, I thought pretty much the same. I thought that it couldn't just get any worse than this, I, but I think it was really the support in the community that were the reasons that this game failed. If you look at, like, <laughs> all of the things that are wrong with the game, Marathon, Lightweight, Commando, Danger Close, One Man Army, Noob Tubes, it all requires some sort of compilation of perks and mindset going in saying, this is what I want to do because I think I'm going to have fun doing this. And, uh, I don't know. My guess is the developers did not really, uh, have some 12-year-old some kids test the game. Because uh, if they did, that would have come out in a beta. But unfortunately, we will not have a beta. Probably ever for a Call of Duty game. Which is unfortunate, but I think, uh, I don't know. Betas are actually getting a lot more common. Um, <laughs> I'm just going on a miserable death streak right here. I'm, I'm just watching this gameplay like, oh shit. But I got a lot of kills, so it's okay. I don't know, I'm enamored with myself for a second. But less than one minute left of the commentary. But what I actually wanted to mention was that uh, I completely forgot what I was talking about. It's okay, it happens. So... 
<laughs> instead of trying to redirect my thoughts, I'm going to go ahead and end this out. Um, if you guys liked it, click like button, all that jazz. And uh, I don't know, try out the FAMAS if you haven't yet with a thermal site, because uh, that's what I was actually working on unlocking. I have ACOGs in all my classes to get some thermal fun for you guys. So uh, stay tuned for that in upcoming games, probably around like four to five episodes-ish for that jazz. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, a lot of times my video gets get lost in the sub box because I don't have any sort of like random graphics and stuff like that. Uh, and the uber cool stuff, the shiny flashy things that make people click on the videos, don't necessarily do that, so... It is hard to see my videos on occasion, but I forgive you. Follow me on Twitter, and that's pretty much it. I'll talk to you later. Peace.